Hello, I'm going to show you how to use My DSO Manager in less than 5 minutes. First, I will create my account by clicking on subscription. I fill my first name, my last name, my company name, my email, my login, my password, and then I submit. My account is now created. I can fill some information in order to use well my DSO manager. For example, I can fill the late payment penalties rate, which will be applied to my customers. It will be 12%. I can fill some information regarding myself, regarding my company, what is my company logo, what is my address, what is the website of my company, what are the bank details, I will be able to retrieve all this information by using the hashtags in my Dunning documents. I will do it later. I click on modify in order to update my information. And then I can have a look to the global view, even if it does not contain any data for the time being. Now I need to upload my customer data and my receivable data in order to use my DSO manager. To do so, I go to the setting, import, export your data. I will be able from this page to import my receivable data, my customer data, and my contact data. To do this, I need to create some CSV files coming from my CRM tool and my accounting tool for the receivable data. You can find a lot of information to create your CSV files and to upload your data in the help on the right of the screen. This is, for example, an extraction of my CRM tool showing all my customer data. I will be able to upload this file without modifying it. Coming back on Smart Upload page, I will now upload this file. First, I need to select it, this file, and now I will tell to my DSO manager that it's a customer data file. I submit. I'm going now to set up the upload of my file. I can find here each column of my CSV file and I need to associate uh, with each column a field of my DSO manager. You can see that my DSO manager has already found some matching. For example, the company code is already matched with company code. I need to associate business name with business name. The legal ID equals the legal ID. The address, the street address, the postcode. Need to associate with postal code. The city. It's here. Etc. So I need to do this setup only once because my DSO manager will save this setup. Next time I will do an upload of a file, it will be already done. So I will just have to go down and to click on import. I do it. Done. I can see that uh, 669 clients have been added with all the required information. I will now do the same process for the receivable data. So I come back to Smart Upload. I'm going to select the receivable file, which is here. I tell to my DSO manager that it contains open items and I submit. As for customer data, I will do the setup of this upload. It will be to be done only one time because this setup will be saved by my DSO manager. So I can see that my DSO manager has already found some correspondence between the fields, but here 
the issuing date, which is a, a key information, corresponds to issue date. I can associate the order number with the field order number. And the item type of my accounting data, which is SAP there, with item type of my DSO manager. Now I can associate the item types of my accounting system with the one of my DSO manager. To do this, I go to the bottom and I can see here the item types of my accounting system and I will tell to my DSO manager the correspondence with my DSO manager item types. So for example, 2H is an invoice as well as 2G and 2L. CB is a credit note. ZA is a payment, not allocated yet, as well as ZD and ZH. ZW is a dot payment request. Then I click on import. My data are now uploaded. I can go to the global view where I can see my data and I can start to work on my DSO Manager. Thank you and see you soon on my DSO Manager.